Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday. I know, crazy, right? What am I doing here on a Monday in the rain, in the dark? I'm not on a train. I'm a Dr. Seuss fan. Good morning. So yes, it's Monday, October 26th. Wow. How do we even get here? I know. I, it's back into toque season. And yes, I am beside my car. Good morning, Leanne. And good morning, Greg. I'm beside my car with the hood up. Good morning, Lori. Oh, this is so exciting to see everyone on a uh, good morning on a Monday morning. Good morning, Louise. And good morning, Karen. Good morning, Rob. <laughs> Yes, good morning, Paul and Sue. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Yes, so <laughs> here I am. Good morning, uh, Brenda. Uh, here I am beside my car. I hope you guys can see the whole thing. Yep, there it is. And no, there's nothing wrong with my car. I just want you to know there is nothing, there's nothing wrong with my car. Nothing wrong with my car. Uh, in fact, the reason why my hood is up is to make sure that there is nothing wrong with my car. And uh, because I'm going on a, a wee bit of a road trip. Good morning, Ellen. And so before you go on a road trip, what are some things that you should do? All right, I need your help on this because I just want to say this. Car maintenance is, cars in general are not my forte. I know what a piston is. I know where to put the gas. I, I know that you should check tires. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, you'll be very happy that I'm doing this. All right, so what are some things that you should do with the car before a road trip? Gas up, yes. I actually have gas cards from wonderful people and friends. So I'm gonna use those on my road trip. So oil change, I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do it today, have the oil checked. So yes, I'm gonna do an oil change today. Top up windshield. <laughs> I have it right here. Do you have, I have my snows on. Oh, you guys are good. Uh, check fluids. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna get my oil changed today. Maybe they'll check my other fluids as well. Do they do that? Um, so check the oil levels and windshield wiper, wiper fluid. So funny enough about, I have a good story about my windshield wiper fluid as I pour it in. And y'all are gonna, you all are gonna watch me. Um, I gotta do it this way and I'm pretty sure I can do it without my glasses on um, so one year I went to visit my mom hey that's pretty full that's impressive um, one year I went to visit my mom at, at Christmas and oh good thank you Greg for letting me know um, and my good friend Greg Ford <laughs> he, he came into the church and he said can I have your keys and I said sure and uh, so he actually had brought windshield wiper fluid for me and he topped it up because he knows he knows that cars are not my forte cars are not my forte all right and so I actually God has very graciously brought people into my life to help me maintain my car um, because that's what my dad did right like growing up uh, he would be the one that would take me um, to buy tires and he would be the one you know have you gotten your oil changed he would be the one that was asking me this because he knew cars are not my forte I love to drive them love to drive them and then after my dad uh, passed away I remember needing new tires for my car and I remember standing in front standing at Canadian Tire and looking at all the options and I'm just like I have I have no idea I have no idea what to buy and I called uh, Ron Snyder a very very dear friend of mine and I just remember talking to him on the phone and saying can you help me buy tires <laughs> he did over the phone it was so good and another time when I was thinking about um, not car insurance but the maintenance plan the, um, and I remember calling Ron and just saying could you please help me in this like what kind of package do I need and he very graciously like walked it walked me through it and and explained to me why I would need it and then you know moving here to Barrie wow 
<laughs> you guys have all been so very good and gracious to me. Floyd Sutton has taken me car shopping. Uh, Henry, Pastor Henry, often takes my car for the oil for the oil changes, <laughs> and Greg fills me up uh, with uh, washer fluid because it's all these things. And you think, but Jen, you just make make a schedule and you get it done. And I'm like, I it's it's beyond me. <laughs> I'm confessing it is totally beyond me and so I can you know when I come to go to a road trip I, I, I'm like okay what are all the things that I need to get done oil uh, tires yep Adam Jensen thank you so much change my tires uh, going to get an oil change today washer fluid th uh, filled up and uh, gas will be in the tank and I realized that I couldn't have actually got to that place without some really good help without some really good help and um, in the Old Testament we have this man named Moses who was leading like about two million people and he was trying to do it all on his own and uh, I'm gonna find that passage and his father-in-law actually comes and says Moses 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 you can't you're gonna get yourself all worn out if, if you continue to do this for yourself. And, um, and so he suggested that Moses find some really good men to help uh, lead the people, to help judge the people when there was problems, to help judge the people. And Moses did, and it lightened his burden. And then God, uh, God wanted a, a tabernacle to be built a place where he could where people could worship him and uh, Moses is probably thinking I don't know how to build a tabernacle I don't know how to judge people I don't know how to lead people and so what did God do I love the story in um, in Exodus 33 so if you have your paper Bibles we ask I ask that you turn there and uh, Yep, Lord, would you just bless this reading? Bless this reading. All right, so now I gotta, I have to find it. So, in the tabernacle, uh, it actually says that God raised up people to help him build the tabernacle. Okay, so this is 35. 35 30 says, Then Moses said to the Israelites, See, the Lord has chosen. Uh, uh, Bezalel son of Uri and son of the son of Hur and the tribe of Judah and he has filled him with the Spirit of God with skill ability and knowledge in all kinds of crafts to make <clears throat> uh, to make artistic designs for work in gold silver and bronze to cut the stone set stones to work in the wood and to engage in all kinds of artistic craftsmanship and he has given both him and Aholiab uh, son of Ashimak of the tribe of Dan the ability to teach others he has filled them with skill to do all kinds of work as craftsmen designers embroiders in blue purple and scarlet yarn and fine linen and weavers all of them master craftsmen and it was interesting because Moses couldn't do it right Moses couldn't do it and so and God knew this so he raised up people to help Moses build the tabernacle I can't look after my car and you would think Jen it's so simple I need help and so God has has raised up people in my life to help me do life and I want to say God's raised up people in your life to help you too but the big thing is we actually have to accept the help and some of us are not good at accepting help because even though God raised up um, those two men Moses could very well said no nope not gonna use them and uh, and done something else and it would have turned out very poorly possibly but I think we do the same thing in our own lives where you know we think we can do it all on our own or and so we try and then it's a sore sore mess up or um, we just choose not to do it and then things like car maintenance, you're going down the road and it just falls apart and you're like, I don't understand. And, and it's like, well, maybe if I had listened to the person that God put in my life to help me, then this wouldn't have happened. And um, 
that's a tough teaching sometimes because not all of us likes to ask for help or to admit that we need help. Maybe you need to admit that today. I need help. I need help. And I love, every time I say I need help, I'm reminded that the Holy Spirit is our helper. And if we ask, he will provide. My God will meet all your needs. We just need to ask. He actually provides for a lot of things we don't even ask for. And then we, we see them and we go, wow, God, are you, are you, you're so good. But can I encourage you today that if you need help in something or if something just seems so overwhelming, um, that you would ask God, just say, God, this seems so overwhelming. Would you provide someone to help me? And I know God will do two things. Holy Spirit will come to help and he'll provide He'll provide the help that you need often through other people and just so you know he might provide help through someone that you might not ever expect and you're gonna be like wow God that was good so can I encourage you today to ask for help to admit <laughs> that you don't have it all together to admit that you might not know everything <laughs> And then to receive the help that is extended to you, all right? To receive the help that is extended to you. And then be thankful. Let's pray. Oh Lord, you are so good and you are so gracious. And I thank you for the people that you have put in my life to help me just do life. Whether it's my car or the work that you've called me to. But Lord, you are so good. So Lord, would you help us to admit that we need help today? That we admit that we don't have it all together, that we mess up and that we make mistakes. And then Lord, to receive the help that you give to us. Help us to receive the help that you give to us, Lord. Help us to respond to your spirit in our spirit, to receive your truth in our innermost being and to walk closely by your side today. Lord God, we commit this day to you May we be light and life and joy and truth to everyone that we meet. And may we, if you ask us to extend help to someone, may we extend help to someone. <laughs> oh Lord, we love you. Thank you for your presence and your goodness and your name. Amen. All right, my dear friends, that's it. That's all. I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow. I'm just not telling where I will be, so you'll have to tune in. Okay, bye.